The dress of the web service is made easy with SOAP UI. I want to show you in a short demo how you can test your own implementation of the address of the web services using SOAP UI. There are some prerequisites, the address of the account ID and password, an internet connection to validate to address doctor.com and SOAP UI installed. I will go first, first go to the prerequisites. Because it's not too obvious how you can get an account ID and a password, I will show you how to get there. You go to addressdoctor.com, select DQC login, even if you don't have a password, and you will see a pop-up screen where you can register. Here you enter all the information. Choose a password. Repeat the password. That's the password you also need uh, for your account ID. Select yes if you want to receive newsletters and other information about the rest of the products and click to confirm that you have read the, confirm the terms and conditions and then click on register. After you received an email where you have to need to confirm your registration with a rest doctor, you can go there and uh, log in to see whether you have access. The second thing you need to have is access to validate to addressdoctor.com. We need this information to get the information for a whistle. And thirdly, we need to have SOAP UI installed. As you can see, I have no new uh, no project yet, and I will create one. I will call this one address doctor. And I have to look for a whistle. The whistle I take from my uh, uh, validator2.com addressdoctor.com account. I go to validator2 addressdoctor.com. In this case, I click on batch. I go for the service description, and here I have the exact link for my whistle. I go to SOAP UI, past the whistle I'm using, and as you can see, there is a project and a request created. This is the request which has been picked up from the whistle. You see it contains out of three parts, the authentication, parameter files, and the actual addresses. To simplify all the information, I will use a shortcut so you can see how to create a really small whistle request. I created my own uh, whistle and where I removed all the op information which is not really essential for this demonstration. I fill in my custom ID, my password, I have to select one of these informations. I select with house number, I keep it on true. Country type will be uh, displayed later on as three characters because I'm using ISO 3. It's listed, the line separation with a semicolon. I'm using the database as preferred language and I don't want to have any changes in capitalization. The format addresses with organization I have put on false and I don't want to have extended characters removed. I will change the address to show that it works. And I use the address from address doctor in Germany. I remove the province country I keep on Germany and I can start running this. Here I have entered my, as you can see it contains of the authentication, the parameter file and since I'm using only one address I can, with batch I can submit 
several ones I, if I like to, but in this case I select only one and the active address I want to have checked. I click on submit request and it comes back. You can see it has been corrected. It's changed into Wünschenstraße. The number is within here because I've asked to have the sum number within the uh, house, the street with the house number. The province has been added. Country is Germany. And here it's corrected. Country specific location line, they prefer to have it in capitals. Wünschenstraße is delivery line address. It has been using the semicolon. And that's the reason why you receive the semicolon here. It's validated status that's been corrected. Result percentage is okay. The element status report is this, uh, elements match status and element result status is only this is only displayed if it's corrected or validated. The country three is indeed three characters, and that's the after receive this. I will do now what I will now change is true to false. And I'll also change the semicolon into comma. So you can see that it is that it is working. And I changed the ISO T into ISO 2. So what I did I change? I don't want to have the house, I don't want to have the house number here. I want to have this instead of three as two characters, and I want to have this separated not by semicolon but with a comma only. I click on submit and there the information is. As you can see it's Rönschenstraße without anything. You see there is a comma and here is still the ISO 3 because we request this is the ISO 3 but the country itself is in the EU. This concludes my short demonstration. If you want to have more information of complete information of the validator uh, address structure or the structure of the whistle, go to validator2 uh, addressdoctor.com, select for address batches and batches, fast completion or at interactive. More documentation, uh, documentation can be found not only for web services but also for web services on this website addressdoc.com en support documentation .html, .html. We love to hear from you. Look at the, the web, the email address, and the website. Thank you very much.